Chairman National Sports Commission, Shehu Diko, has promised to use his wealth of experience in sports to reposition Nigeria sports for podium finishes, as well as work with stakeholders to ensure that sports in the country becomes a huge employer of labor. Diko made this known Wednesday in Abuja after receiving the handover documents from the immediate past Minister of Sports Development, Senator John Eno, as he takes full charge of Nigerian sports after being appointed by President Bola Tinubu last Wednesday as the chairman of the National Sports Commission. We have to create the National Sports Development Fund. That fund, if you put it there the way you want to do it, and we put it properly, uh, and we put it properly, it means that we will resolve the fundamental issue of sports. Because once the funding is there, once there is enough money in sports, 80% of the problem has been solved. Meanwhile, the fourth edition of Clean South East Under-16 Track and Field Championship has ended in Umwaya, Abia State Capital. The two-day event was organized by five ex-Nigerian athletes from the Southeast who have represented Nigeria at the international level. And obviously, we know our coach, you know, led to where he made his own recipes. You know, was known for grassroots athletics. You know, he grooms his own athletes. He will go down to secondary schools, you know, primary schools, and discover athletes, and he will train them. And finally, Super Eagles and Red Star Belgrade forward Peter Olayinka has undergone successful surgery on his Achilles tendon. According to the club, the 28-year-old is currently recovering in the hospital. The Nigerian international sustained the injury during Red Star's 5-1 defeat to AS Monaco on October 22nd in a UEFA Champions League encounter. Olainka absence will undoubtedly be a significant loss for Red Star. With sports updates, Ijoma Pitawante, NTA News.